In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you an alternative colour scheme for your Battle Sisters, which includes red power armour, black robes, and other details you'll need to get painted. Welcome to Tabletop Ready. My name's Michael, and in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to paint Battle Sisters from the Order of the Bloody Rose. I'll link any brushes and paints I use in this tutorial in the description below, as well as putting them on the screen when I use them. If you enjoy the content here on Tabletop Ready, let me know in the comments and I'll really appreciate you taking the time to like the video as well. It really does help to grow the channel and get out to more people. I've already created an in-depth tutorial showing you how to paint your battle sisters in the order of the martyred lady. So I do recommend also watching that tutorial which goes into more detail about all the steps and techniques that I'll be using here as well. In this tutorial I'm just going to be focusing on what colours and the steps I use to paint Battle Sisters from the Order of the Bloody Rose, which is going to build upon what I've already talked about and shown you in the more in-depth Martyred Lady tutorial. I've undercoated our miniature with Mephiston Red to start with, as this is going to make it easier to achieve a vibrant red for our Bloody Rose power armour. And as usual, I've split this tutorial into different chapters to make it easier to follow along with. Let's start with the inside of the robes first and remember we want to make sure we can get to these areas whilst painting. Our base colour for the inside of the robes is going to be Corex White, making sure we work towards a solid colour with multiple thin layers. When you're happy with the base colour, let's use a grey sear glaze to start darkening the shallow areas of the robe. Continue to darken these shallow areas with an Administratum Grey Glaze. Glazing helps us to get those smooth transitions between colours. Finish the inside of the robes using white scar to edge highlight and pick out the raised folds. The next thing we're going to be working on is that vibrant red power armour the Bloody Rose is known for. For the armour we want to mix an equal amount of Mephiston Red and Evilson Scarlet for that base colour. Do your best and try not to get this on the white robes you just painted. After that we can create some definition and bring out all the details using Galvor Back Red as a recess shade. A recess shade is done by applying paint or a shade directly into an area, so it doesn't affect our base colour too much like an all over wash wood. When that's done it's time to highlight. The first highlight we're going to do is a chunky highlight and for this we use an Evilson Scarlet. And when that's done, we can use Trolsa Layer Orange for our edge highlight. By Dragon Bright is then used to highlight and emphasise the more prominent edges you want to stand out. Finish the armour with a spot highlight, painting little dots on all the corners using Ungor Flesh. And just like we did for the Martyred Lady's black armour, you can glaze some volumetric highlights as well. So with the armour done, let's move on to getting the robes finished. For the robes, I want to show you how we can paint them so even though they're black, they'll still stand out against black armour. Start with some Corvus Black for the base colour. We can then use an Abaddon Black Glaze for the shallow areas. And a Nation Grey Glaze to start lightening the raised areas. Corvus Black can be used to help smooth the transition. Finish the black robes with a Storm Vermin Fur Highlight. In this section of the tutorial, we're going to get all the metallic details and weapons painted. For any silver details, start with Iron Hand Steel. Use Norn Oil to create some definition. And finish these silver details with Stormhouse Silver. For all those gold relics and trinkets, start with the Retributor Armour. Reichlin Flesh Shade is used for definition. And Canoptech Alloy is used to highlight these gold details. Let's finish any weapons now, painting any weapon casings black, starting with some Abaddon Black. Eshin Grey for the chunky highlight, and Dawnstone to highlight any edges. 
there's not much left to get painted on our bloody rose battle sister. So let's see how we're going to paint some of those last details. Let's finish up this tutorial going through some of the things you might need to know to get your battle sister from the order of the bloody rose painted. For the gloves start with some doom ball brown for the base colour. And when you've done that let's use squig orange as our first highlight on those raised details. Before using ungore flesh as our final highlight on the gloves. To finish we can paint the little screen on the back in a blue scheme rather than red. Start with some stegodon scale green. Next we want to use some of that Sotec green, leaving some of that Stegodon scale green showing in the top right corner. Edge highlight the screen using Temple Guard Blue. To finish the screen, first paint three dots on three of the corners using Blue Horror. And then a spot highlight of White Scar in the top right corner. Using what we've learned in the Martyr Lady tutorial, We've also been able to paint a battle sister from the order of the bloody rose. So let's see how it turned out. The battle sister of the bloody rose order is now finished and I hope I've been able to give you the knowledge and confidence to get your own miniatures painted. I do want to say a massive thank you to my current supporters who've made this tutorial possible. So thank you. If you enjoyed this tutorial and found it useful, make sure to let me know in the comments and leave a like. Make sure to subscribe to Tabletop Ready if you don't want to miss out on future content and I'll see you in the next video.